Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. And stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all... <laughs> it's a trap! Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. But Ryan, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No, comms are as it seems. She will be stuck here. Jill! Who the hell are you? So here you go, episode 3, Ghosts of Veltro. God, I love them little recap things. Like, can you imagine if I'd had that for the Resident Evil 2 remake? It'd just be like, previously on Resident Evil 2, we ran around for an hour and didn't really do anything and kind of found three useful items, but they only came into play in the next episode, so watching that episode was kind of useless. But yeah, honestly, I love it. And uh, yeah, here we go, episode 3, Ghosts of Veltro. I'm loving it. This is still like, I've done all f these three first three missions like the same session so obviously that is an indicator that i'm enjoying it so let's see where we go from here still hurting cadet no i can still fight that's the spirit it's over. The city is finished. <sighs> Ooh, okay. So this is gonna be like a really specific uh, comparison, but uh, this Parker guy looks a hell of a lot like cross between like Russell Crowe and this guy called Wildcat Chris Harris in TNA in like mid 2000s so check that out and tell me if Jessica, I'm right Parker, because I am right but it's just kind of the facility easy. has been breached we're closing shop prepare to go home split up and get which is kind of weird how you can't like turn around and like look at your own face it's like one of the end games because the faces are like quite good I'll cover the hallway with Jessica Cadet make sure they reach the heliport Okay, so this guy used to work for the FBC, who were the ones that were like in Parker. cooperation with the They've BSAA. Procedures here. And uh, what's this guy doing? His design is like the kind of thing where you see. The BSAA is pulled out. It was like a design that they had in mind, but they ended up not using, and everyone like laughs at later, except they actually used it in this game as Ginger Guy. Right, I'm just gonna call him Cadet for short, or I could just call him Ginge, but I know Ginger people and they're pretty cool, so I'm just gonna say Cadet because I'm a nice guy. Oh, is this gonna be us like fighting this is it. like no, people? That'll be interesting. First. I mean, I know they did some of that in like I think Resident Evil 6 or something, but I never played it, so I don't know. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, not that way. Come. Open fire! Where the fuck did they come from? Oh, I do like these guns. Reload! Just disintegrate. That's so weird. I used to think they did it on um, House of the Dead because it was like the Wii, you know? And like they hardly had like any memory to do it properly. But then this is like a proper like Resident Evil game. Oh, backflip! Holy shit! And it's just kind of weird. I'm gonna like waste so many bullets on this. Okay, yeah. Okay, I guess we're not shooting uh, people then. Like I thought we might have been. But these guys are pretty cool. They kind of like remind me of hunters from what I've seen of them, which are basically like. Frog guys, all these ones look like Killer Croc, they look like way cooler. Oh, here's another one. I can fucking aim. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, no, no. Is that like a one death, one hit death? No. Oh shit, I. Oh shit. 
Alright, good. Oh, fuck, man. This has gone badly. Okay, keep him, keep doing the backflips. That takes care of that. Right. Now it's our turn to get on that chopper. That elevator get to the still chopper. Far, so. This way. Okay, head for the elevator. I'm guessing nothing's like gonna come and attack us. Since it's just like a wave thing, so I'm gonna take this time to collect some stuff. Tis the plan at least. I feel actually walk better. Hey, okay, where did she go? Oh yes, I'll take you. I do love that gun though when it's working, when we've got ammo for it. Where'd she go? We've got loads of health for this one as well, so maybe these guys do do like extra damage. Can we interact with this? Now it's just a sign. Thing over here, no, okay. Ooh, blood. Oh, look at that, it's cool. Behind the walls too? I love them creatures. Oh, 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 hello. That didn't mean you could just come out of the elevator. Oh, I'm turning American elevator, my god. Sorry to drag you into this. That's fine. I love her little air You're hostess hat, that's cool. Time. Okay, are they kind of like flirty or what the? just like joking? Broke already? And, that and we're only halfway up. Elevator. How do you feel about stairs? Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about stairs. It's a map of the Terra Grigia building. Okay, but we can't look at it, so that's helpful. Or maybe looking at it makes our minimap thing look better. I'm gonna talk to her because she's feeling lightheaded. No, we can't. Okay. Okay, I keep forgetting we have that quick turn thing. Oh shit! Okay, of course, of course I didn't have any bullets. It's loaded. That's very nukes plays with me. And he's dead. That's good. I love this game so far. Like, I'm hoping that it keeps it up for like 12 chapters. I don't know if I'm too bored, but then I'll be like, oh, please go in. So far, though, this is really fun. And like, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's kind of silly, but it's kind of like not at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and load these and completely waste seven of them. Let's just switch back to this one. Although we are running out of bullets, fuck. Oh, we don't have our, um... I want to call it Destiny thing. <gasps> Picked up M3! Back down here, anything? Go to the door. Oh. FBC's charter. The Federal Bioterrorism Commission, FBC, there you go, was founded by the US government to be the enforcing agency of the guidelines set forth in the National Species Protection Act. This document outlines the FBC's charter and responsibilities of its members. The FBC is charged with protecting the United States and her interests from biological threats. Our organization will work with other countries and their respective wildlife protection organs to guard public health. As such, we are tasked with ensuring the biological safety of the public at large. The duties of all FBC members include the research, training, and support of the biological community. Policies will be fomented on a needs-only basis with any additional budget expenditures and extraordinary activities being approved by a plenary session of the Wildlife Protection Committee. 
The FBC Chair is selected by the Wildlife Protection Committee. The Chair's duties include complete oversight of FBC and coordination of all activities with retrospective US Cabinet officials. FBC Chair is the final overseer of the NAPC. All members of the NAPC are entitled to request help from the Chair, including the Secretaries of State and Defence and the Director of National Intelligence. However, the Chair has final authority on all matters of national biological safety. A lot of words, dude. Like my jaw hurts. And not because of that, it's because of the talking. Okay, I like that. It's like if you kind of search, then you get more. I'm guessing if we would have gone down to like, oh shit. It's kind of like arcadey. It's like arcadey but a real one at the same time. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of weird how they can like get like stuck on wall edges and stuff. That's kind of wacky. What smash there? Oh. Maybe because I'm casual, but I love how they get up to you and then jump back. So, like, oh shit, I'm too close. Oh yeah, I forgot I had my shotgun. Even though I literally just got it. I love how he holds it, you know, like hooking it over the thing. That's awesome. You see that in forms and stuff. I like that. I like that. Oh, I can only hold five. Uh, I think we've been hit, so I'll use one in case we just have like one hit. As you know, because then big ones. Ah, oh, never mind, I fucked it up. So, what do you think about that O'Brien guy? The BSAA director? Not my type. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Uh, I love his laugh. I think he's in the right. Oh, he fuck. To to Two shots. I love this yeah, guy. I agree. I think being in the FPC uh, distorts your moral compass. You sound just like him. Still, I wouldn't mind being on the right side of the fight. Okay, you can just jump over. I guess when they want you to, because before we couldn't like jump over the barricades to the cliff shafts. Okay, hopefully if they get up at the same time, and they do. Why are you taking so many hits? This is really random. Maybe it's like an actual game mechanic, like they take random numbers of hits. Super random. Well, please entitled, but you know. Anything down here? No. Oh. Oh, great. Glad I went down there. The elevator's on the sixth floor. Hurry. On the second floor, we're on. Can we go through here? Okay, no. Why have the door? Why have the door then? Okay, maybe that's just maybe like a. All right, that was just going to be like a. You, you meant normal people would run to six apparently, rather than wait for the thing banging it to just open it. Yes. Where is it? Let's load that up now. Sixty-nine. Let's go with this one. Ooh, this is like the Matrix. I love this. I like how there's like some people with like an actual like office job. And then for me, like an office is just like, oh, Matrix. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, I, I knew you were there. Okay, he died quick. Let me quickly turn around because I'm so clever. There's another one. Patrolling. Killer Crocs just patrolling the area. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that was like right in the face. He took that like a champ. 
and I'm back with and in the cock and you're dead. Where's this other one? I love how the reticle just like stops. Like being a colour. When they're dead, that's really helpful. That's probably like another thing that's not on there. The later ones as well. Like the harder difficulties in them. And I love how it like jumps around it, it keeps it fresh, you know? Are you kidding me? A dead end? Alright, we can't jump over that one because it's not orange. Apparently only orange things you can jump over. Is this where we're gonna get split up here? We can get through here. Give me a hand. Okay, I'm coming. Jessica, that was weird. I thought we might like, have to like shoot them off to save her, but instead it was just like not like that. Okay, almost just fucking crush his own leg. I thought all the girls in this like look really similar. It's kind of funny. Okay, got more quality stuff here. Oh, and another thing. I'm using five as a max. Hiya! Give me more climbing up the walls or the windows rather. This kind of reminds me of like a mini version of there's like a room in uh, I think Dead Space 2. Wait for like a big meaty motherfucker. Kind of reminded me of this room. How much of that do we have now? 19, okay. Not as much as I thought. I thought we were like swimming in it and it's like, eh, not that, not that great. Shotgun, there's swimming gonna fucking come out here. Damn, come on! They're almost here! I think they're here for you! Because you're a flirt! Sorry, I don't Because you're a flirt! And you look like a sexy air hostess. Okay, hello. Ah, uh, wasted one. That was close. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Missed. Maybe it's like the closer you are, the more damage it does. That would be actually like really awesome. Whoa. I, I, I thought I was like dead, man. Like, they just took that. Okay, let's load and use this one. If there are any more, yeah, there's some up there. Bad time. Oh my god, there are so many. There are so many. Oh my god, three in one. Imagine if like it got activated by like a trigger. Yeah. Oh my god. He, he just pistol whipped it. Maybe he could have done that the whole time. Yeah. Give me the 
shotgun. Okay, let's get, let's get in. Did she get in? Okay, good. Uh, I don't know what I was doing there. I, I think I was just having too much fun. Oh, snap! Jesus, I thought it was going to stop again. If we were on the sixth floor, why yeah, is the light starting from the bottom? But that was crazy. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar energy satellite. Raccoon City all over again. Yes. Wiped off the face of the earth. By tomorrow morning, Terra Grigia will be just a name in a history book. Okay, I guess we're just waiting for this to finish then, are we? We did do everything we could, right? I hope we did. Well, just don't forget about that lobster dinner you owe me. Yes, miss. <laughs> when have I ever gone back on my work? Also from the back, he's got a bit of uh, Harvey Bullock from Gotham. With like the hair and the beard and everything. Get the ladder, we gotta go! Okay, ladies first! Careful, and they just fucking fell out. <laughs> Oh my god, that's pretty awesome. Like, he got out just in time, so that maybe he, like, feels guilty. Which is why he's, like, helping us, uh, as a BSAA agent. It's triggered a chain reaction. Look, the city. No more. We came to help, but did nothing. Look at it, like a futuristic Big Ben sinking into the abyss. I love the graphics for the reflections as well. 65% probably didn't help me that end bit, I was just getting fucked. Alright, hey guys, Future Nukes just dropping in to say that I'm uh, going to cut episode 3 in half. Uh, so you can have this first part here and I'll upload the second part which is much longer and probably a bit more of a slog but uh, I'm sure you guys will manage um, but yeah so hopefully you enjoyed that part I thought that part was pretty fun uh, good old Parker, great guy and uh, yeah so join me next time where we'll go back to Jill and we'll do some uh, more exploring of the ship and get into like the main hub area that we kind of see a lot more for the rest of the game so there's something to look forward to so hopefully you join me then for part 2 of episode 3 so I'll see you guys next time for that. Thanks a lot, guys.